How they doing? Oh, you got to get them out of there quick. What? What's happened? I got one floater. Oh, no, really? Yeah. As soon as I take the cover off, I mean, I see one of them kind of listing over to its side. Another second one is going over. I'm like, we got to get these fish out of here now. Up higher. Come right, forward a little bit. The bottom line is, if these fish don't get the oxygen they need, they're going to die. Okay, let's spin it out there. Their bellies are going up, but you can still see their gills moving back and forth, which means they're alive. Oh, okay. you. So we've got to get these fish over there. We race them over to the pond. We have to start resuscitating these fish quick. That's good. We got it. And the only way I've done it in the past is move them back and forth near heavily oxygenated water. Get that water pumping through their gills. He's staying upright. Give me that other big one. We're putting them directly into the pond, and we got to get them in front of the aeration system. Get that oxygen going past the gills so they could start getting the respiration process going. I got to save them. They're dying. And the last thing we want to do is have fish die. Our whole goal, I mean, we're environmentalists. We're fish guys. We want to do everything that we can to save these fish. Get them in there. There you go, Chris. Come here. My hands are freezing. Does somebody else want to grab this one? I'll grab that one. Uh, I can get this guy. You got it? Oh, my god. That's cold. So we're putting the stressed out fish back in the pond directly over the aeration system I installed earlier, which is going to pump oxygen back into the water. Right, we got this one laying down down here. Holy Come on, dude. A couple of things that we're looking for when these fish are starting to come back around. We're going to be holding them gently by the tail. So we're just going to be pulling them back and forth gently over the aeration system. And we want to hold them upright, because that's the normal position for the fish. We want to make sure that the water is going through their gills, the oxygen, and so on. Do I let them go? Yeah. Let me try to grab this guy again. And all of a sudden, as soon as they start getting a little bit stronger, you can start to feel that swimming motion happening. And when they start giving you a little bit of a kick, you know it's time. I think if we can get them to recover here, they're, they're going to be fine. Yeah, there you go. See you, man. Oh, yeah, here. good, good, nice. good. Nice. Look at this guy just hanging on that ledge right there. He's kind of just he's going down into the deeper section. He's doing, they're, they're, these ones are doing great. Yeah. The good news is the fish that are not stressed are going exactly where we hope they're going to go. So they're going right down to the bottom. It's a little cooler down there. They're in a new environment, so they're going to kind of check stuff out. And they went right into these little overhangs. And Brian and I are both grinning from ear to ear. Yeah, that guy's in that little pocket, that little cove right there. This is really cool. Here comes one right by Oh, you. there you go. Hey, Ed, that's what he's saying. Hey. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. That's a success right there. That's a good sign. He was one of the stressed out ones. We start reviving these fish, and sure enough, they start coming around. And it was just so neat to see them all swimming around again. And, and we got it. You know, we saved these guys. All right. Success.